What is going on everyone? Auto Endeavors here coming back at you with another video today. Today we're going to be discussing the modification scene for the Ford Maverick. So, if you've been paying attention to Ford Maverick news, you know that there has recently been someone who has already taken delivery of their Ford Maverick and they have already modified it to their liking. And what they have done to it is they have lowered the overall ride height of the vehicle to make it have a lower overall stance and a lower overall center of gravity. Now it's an interesting point to make because the Maverick scene, most of what has been talked about in the news lately is the utility and the capabilities of the vehicle as well as the miles per gallon and things of that nature, but the modification scene has not had as much news put on it. Now recently there was an individual who took delivery of their Ford Maverick and they already have modified it to their liking. Now this individual owns their own shop their own automotive shop, so they have the skills and expertise to custom fab up modifications for their Maverick. Unfortunately, because the Maverick is such a new vehicle, it will take a little while before modifications become mainstream for the pickup truck, but nevertheless, that didn't stop this specific individual from already going ahead and modifying his own personal Maverick to his liking. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go take a look at an article and we're gonna take a look at some photos of the modifications done to the first ever modded Maverick. And that consists of the first mod ever being placed on a Ford Maverick being that it has been lowered from its overall stock height. So it's pretty interesting stuff to see people already modifying their Ford Mavericks. But we're going to go over and we're going to take a look at that article right now. So basically this article is from the iDrive.com. I will be linking this article in the description down below for your viewing pleasure. But basically this article is titled, Someone Lowered a 2022 Ford Maverick Already and It Looks Sick. It's Time to Embrace Slammed Mini Trucks Again. Now again, I know that lowered pickup trucks are not everyone's forte, but they do have their place within the automotive world. A lot of people do like lowered or quote slammed pickup trucks and basically this article discusses the first person to ever do that to a Ford Maverick. So basically a little bit of what this article discusses is judging by the 100,000 plus reservations for the new 2022 Ford Maverick it'd be an understatement to call it a well received in the United States. The truck's capable of 42 miles per gallon in the city brings the small pickup back into the limelight without sacrificing utility and with a price tag just over twenty thousand dollars we've mentioned this many times on this channel but basically this is a very affordable pickup truck right off the lot and it should last you a fairly long while ford products typically do last a substantial amount of time and are typically more affordable now it was only a matter of time before enthusiasts got their hands on one and of course we knew this was coming we just didn't expect it to be this quick. So, Adam Edwards, who is the owner of this recently lowered Ford Maverick, is the owner of a body shop in Searcy, Arkansas. And it didn't take very much time for him to decide to mod his Maverick when he got a hold of it. And so he's one of the first ones with a modded Maverick. With just a few days after taking delivery, he found a way to lower it closer to the ground so a little bit of backstory about how he did this of course the maverick aftermarket parts have not come in yet because the the trucks are really just coming right into the consumer's hands so they need to get a few out in production and in people's hands before modifications really start to hit the market and really start to become very popular and mainstream so basically it says here since no company officially makes an aftermarket lowering kit for the Maverick, yet Edwards had to improvise. He took some measurements of the Maverick strut assembly and went to an auto parts store. After comparing a few options, he left with a pair of struts meant for the sixth generation Nissan Sentra. So it's interesting that he ended up using parts from Nissan to lower his Ford Maverick. I suppose they either came from the same manufacturer or are very, very similar, and so that's why he decided to go with those parts. Basically, it says here that Edwards said that the strut mounted right up after replacing the top mounting cap with the factory Maverick part, and the only modification needed was a small 3-8 inch slotting on the bottom bolt hole. The rears were a little more complicated. Edwards found a set of rear shocks meant for a number of older Fords, 66 Bronco, 70s F-Series pickup trucks that also fit on the Maverick. Then he cut down the rear springs and replaced the lower spring 
insulator. So interesting. So this is custom fab to the nth degree. This is not something you can just go into your local shop and say, hey, I want this. This requires a lot of customization, a lot of work, and probably no real warranty. But he is working on his own car. He owns his own shop. So he is a professional in this industry. So this makes sense that he would be one of the first ones to do this. The overall result was a four inch drop in the front and a six inch in the rear. In hindsight, Edward says he wished he's, he had leveled it out just a bit more by only lowering it five inches in the rear. The setup is just temporary though. Edward's Maverick will be headed to SEMA 2022, complete, complete in mini truck attire. He tells us that he plans to put the truck on air suspension and that he builds, his build will process will begin sometime in the next week or two. At least he gets to have some fun with the lowered truck and the steelies in the interim. So. He does have the first official lowered Maverick. It looks like it's a work in progress as far as what he has said and the individuals that have spoken to him. Basically, it says down here, Edwards told the drive he hopes his project will inspire people to build next-gen mini trucks and maybe even bring mini truck culture back to its former glory before compact pickup trucks stop being built. The hobby was thriving in all parts of the country with the introduction of the Ford Maverick and the Hyundai Santa Cruz. Perhaps we'll see that scene make a comeback sooner than later. I believe if the people don't embrace what we've been given here, we might never see a mini truck again, said Edwards. I'm hoping that people adopt and these and build them until they are as played out as the S10s were, which is actually a great point. And we have not talked about the S10 on this YouTube channel, but the S10 used to be a very popular pickup truck in the small mini compact pickup truck scene. And it kind of faded away into the distance and most manufacturers quit making their small pickup trucks, such as the Ford Maverick and other lines of pickup truck were discontinued. Mazda no longer makes a pickup truck. There are many different pickup trucks that are no longer being made, but a lot of them have been brought back. But they're a slightly larger version. But with the Ford Maverick and the Santa Cruz, like mentioned in this article, we could see that scene return. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Do you think the mini pickup truck scene is coming back? like it was before or do you think it will slowly fade off and die into the distance as far as this truck being used as an actual truck i believe it will be very popular however in the modification scene it could be here or there it really depends on how people embrace it as far as the mod heads go but let me know in the comment section down below again please hit hit the like button on your way out hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with future updates on the auto endeavors channel with all that being said until next time We'll see y'all.